Hello, how are you today? Wherever you are in the world, I'm saying hello. Being psychic and spiritual is a great thing, but I wanted to speak about the loneliness that you love, she feel because of it sometimes down here. And people don't really talk about this very much because <laughs> they just don't talk about it. But it's actually a real thing that you'll be struggling with. And I want you to understand that you're not the only one who's out there with this, these gifts. And people looking at you strangely when you say things that come out of your mouth when you don't expect them to come out. It's important that you understand that you're not really different. You're just running from your soul body first and your human body second. And I did a podcast on the soul and the human bodies and how we operate. Therefore, everything that comes out of your mouth that's spiritual or psychic will be coming from your soul. Most people down here are human first and soul second. But a lot more people are becoming soul first and human second. We need both, of course, to live down here. However, when you do work soul first, uh, you can feel a little bit different because the majority of people possibly around you aren't. If you're very lucky, you'll have a lot of psychic people around you. I think if you're psychic and particularly spiritual too, you'll often have people in your family who are psychic because the gift uh, transfers down through the generations, it's passed down. And there will often be just somebody in your family who's similar to you. It might be an auntie or grandma but you still have somebody who gets you and you get them. It's lonely though. I, I want to be honest about it. It can be lonely because you feel that you're different because you actually are. I know I'm different to a lot of other people and I actually know I even scare people. They think that because I'm the way I am that I can read their thoughts. Mm, I can't really, but I will know what they're feeling and I would be able to pick up stuff from them because the truth usually isn't hidden from people who are psychic we'd like to not know the truth but if we don't know the truth spirit will always tell you i've experienced that in my life for things that i didn't realize or couldn't see or were blind to spirit actually told me you might have had that too it's not really great especially <laughs> some of the truth but it is better that we knew them i suppose I want you to understand this because it's a very important part of who you are and I don't want you to feel so lonely. That's why I'm doing the podcast because there's someone out there in Australia who's like you and it's good for you to know that. Actually, you do know that there's lots of people who are like this, who are like us. Our gift is our gift and it's our gift to give to other people but the cost is that we will be judged. In my life, I've had a lot of people make fun of me in front of me and behind my back and because I'm psychic I saw the pictures of them making fun of me in their kitchen which wasn't so great they didn't know I saw it but I did however there is a silver lining to that one because some of the people who actually were very judgmental of me the religious very religious people had trouble with me some of them and then other people who didn't believe in anything had trouble with me when they crossed over, it was really funny because they were often the first people who popped up because I wanted to use my mediumship to talk to somebody. And I always think it's kind of hilarious because down here they blocked you and were rude to you and made you feel comfortable. And they cross over and then all of a sudden you're their best friend. I think because they realise when they can see from the other side what was really going on. So if you are being judged or people are making fun of you or making out your like you're crazy they love that one they love to make out like you're crazy and you're nuts and she's a bit unbalanced they like that one just have heart that when they cross over and they'll see everything that you're doing and why you're doing it that eventually the truth does come out if you can have some friends who are like you it'll make a big difference so if you meet anyone who's got a psychic gift and you click I suggest you get closer to that person it's important to have a few psychic friends too because I'll often ring them up and run something past them because I'm too close to it. And uh, it's good to have that ability to ask somebody else to see what you can't or aren't able to see at the time. The other thing you can do is join a healing group. Just make sure you join one that resonates with you. I've spoken about this in one of my other podcasts. 
You just need to find a little group of people. Or you can actually start your own little group and just have a few. I had a little group here. I had a couple of groups for a while of different sizes. And, you know, it was good. We did the cards and every week we did something different. And then we always did the healings. So you can actually form your own little healing group of two or three people even. It doesn't have to be a lot of people. But that will actually help to ground you down here and, and make you not feel as lonely. I think the loneliness also comes from not being able to feel that spirit are around. Sometimes we can't feel our guides. We can't feel people from the other side. Sometimes we feel lost down here spiritually. Ask for some signs. Always ask for signs and I usually get them. Mine are usually 11 and 22 flashing at me at all times, the day and night. But ask for signs, whatever your signs are. Could be a butterfly or maybe it's a musical sign. You'll get certain music because we can't see them. We know they're there, but we can't see them. And when you're feeling alone and lonely and lost, I find that's the time I actually need them the most. And it's not always the time I can feel them the most. So I encourage you to ask your guides to give you signs. Faith is something that we have a belief in that we can't touch or isn't tangible and I think that's true. In my work I'm probably a bit lucky because I can talk to people who have passed but I think we can all do that. I think we're all mediums in our own right. Everyone can do it if they wanted to and I know even people who don't believe in this work have told me that they heard them the wife calling them after she died and someone saw the person at the end of the bed and spoke to them. So these things can happen for all of us. When you feel lonely, I think it's important to go back to your spiritual practices a little bit more, perhaps meditate a little bit more, try and connect a little bit more, go and have coffee with a spiritual friend and talk about these things. And that's how you always know it's a spiritual relationship because you barely talk about anything humanly normal. You just end up talking about this and that and what you read and did you see that podcast or you know, did you read that book? So it's a spiritual journey you have with them. And then when you're walking down the spiritual journey path, which is like a path that we're on, then you have a few people with you. They might change as you both develop and change. You might not be with that person, but they usually bring a new person in. And that's, that's pretty wonderful as well. Enjoy being on the spiritual psychic journey. However, don't feel strange because you feel quite lonely and you feel quite alone because that's actually quite normal. The majority of people aren't coming from this space and so I encourage you to keep doing what you're doing on yourself and the healing you're sending and the messages you're giving. Try to find more people who are like you and spend more time with them and even on the phone. It's important to text them or to keep those relationships strong because they're actually what going to nourish you. They're very nourishing for the soul. That's what I'm trying to say to you because we will be soul first people. We need people who are soul first and they will nourish our soul. And also I find them to be, if you get good ones, they're very loving and very kind and very intuitive with you and telepathic. So they'll actually ring you up and go, what's up, you know, what's happening? Or send you a text and go, hey, I keep getting your name, are you okay? So there's like a little spiritual connection there, which is very, very beautiful and very healing. You're not alone. There's lots of us like this. We might be not putting our gift out there too much, especially in the human world, because it's not always appreciated. And sometimes it's... I just don't want to feel weird. I'll just go to the barbecue and say I work from home because it's just easier with some groups of people. It's not that I hide myself. I just try to keep them comfortable because I'm not going to be as uncomfortable as maybe they are when they have to rush off and get a drink when I tell them what I do. It's kind of funny, really. It's a good way to get rid of people, actually, if you don't want to talk to them, I suppose. I don't know. But I'm just validating to you that I've had times with the work that I felt lonely. It ebbs and flows a little bit and I do the work and I have great faith so if you have those times too don't feel bad about it it's very normal and it's very actually human to feel like that as well because the gift and the light that we carry even though it is really how it really is that's how we 
we really are and that's who humans really are we are actually a soul uh, that travels through different dimensions down here because it's so human people are coming from that space more often that's all so enjoy your gifts give your gifts away spread them send your healing keep doing your work even if it's silently and if you have people who make fun of you and scoff and you know, ridicule you it's okay because one day when they cross over they'll just see how wrong they were <laughs> and then you can have a little smile when you have a dream about them and they come and say hello to you which i think is kind of cute okay have a good week and be yourself and take care of yourself and i'm sending you lots of love and light